I am with Super Lee making, what are we going to make? We're making dumplings. Dumplings. Which so, is my mother's recipe. Oh, your mother's recipe. So dumplings with Mao's last dancer. <laughs> to tell me while we do this first why you love cooking and when you cook I don't understand how he has time to cook because he is the artistic director of the Queensland Ballet uh, he's very busy all the time fundraising directing showing the dancers what to do and running a huge company very successfully When I was a young boy, my mother cooked all the meal in the family for her seven sons, which we, we were born into such a really poor uh, peasant life in China. Food is one of the most special things in the Chinese culture. And for my mother is really what she cooks for us is her way of loving. We have to really cut them quite small. Mm. Okay. So if you can do some I that. I can do that. Yep, yes, do that. of course. Actually, I'll give you something else. Give me things to do. to do. Why don't you chop like this? Oh, well, that's better. How's that? That's very, very professional. <laughs> I love it. I love that you have that. Yeah, so I'll <laughs> give you that. Okay, great. And, uh, it has to be very small. As, as small as we can. This is so much fun. So then ultimately, it's going to be mixed with this meat which are marinated pork oh. with uh, ginger and uh, uh, two types of soy sauce and green onions. Mm. So this is being marinated for uh, since this morning. I that. Here's, the, here's the flour dough I made. Wow, how did you make that? Just simple with a normal, um, not self-raising flour. So, and then I use hot water. So, for those of you who don't know the story of Li, um, he grew up in China with seven, seven children and he started dancing and, and then you were casted by Mao's, uh, well, Lady, Lady Mao. Yeah, yeah, Madame Mao. Madame Mao. It's Beijing Dance Academy. Beijing Dance Academy. And then you, you went on a scholarship to Houston as a student, right? Yes, so I was trained for seven years at the Beijing Dance Academy. And the training was amazing. It was just very disciplined, uh, but it's the famous Russian Vaganova training, which is the best, which produced stars like Nuriyev, mm -hmm. uh, Boryshnikov and all that. And then uh, uh, when I graduated, I was considered one of the top graduates at the Beijing Dance Academy. How old and were you then? I was 18. Mm -hmm. Then I was selected to go to one of the first cultural exchange students. Uh, scholarships to be awarded to go to America. And you went to Houston? I went to Houston, uh, danced with the Houston Ballet, and then uh, in the process I, f I fell in love. And then I married the girl, she was my first love, and her name was Liz, Elizabeth. And then, uh, but the Chinese consulate in Houston uh, didn't permit my marriage. So he subsequently held me hostage at the Chinese consulate in Houston. How long so were you held there? 21 hours. I nearly lost my life uh, during that terrible ordeal. It was a big scandal because... It was a huge scandal. So uh, Barbara Bush, who was on the board of the Houston Ballet at the time, I was with the Houston Ballet, and then uh, uh, so her husband was the vice president at the time, and the com the, actually their home base was Houston. Yes, so, uh, of course. so that was the reason really uh, the White House was involved 
and the Bushes and even Ronald Reagan, who was the president at the time, was involved. So, um, and uh, uh, because the media was all there, the FBI was all involved as well. So eventually they released me, uh, gave me the freedom to dance in the West. What are you doing there? I'm doing the pastry now okay. and you make them more round mm -hmm. and then uh, then I'm going to uh, make them into pancakes. You wrote a book about your life. Yes. How did you decide to write a book? Oh, uh, I was encouraged to write my book. I never really wanted to write my story. And then uh, one of the, my author friends said to me that uh, my story will give people hope and courage in life. And that was the reason really I, uh, uh, you know, also my wife said, well, because when we go to dinner parties, people ask me about my life story. I would say one thing, they kept on asking questions. I'll be the one getting really tired at the end of, uh, in the, end of the night. And Mary said, well, if you write the book, people will stop asking questions about your life <laughs> You're story. gonna say, read the book. <laughs> yeah. So you okay. mix now the pork and uh, the cabbage. I mix the pork. So I put okay. some, some fillings in there. Uh -huh. And I put that in the middle. Like a little taco. Yeah, and then I squeeze that on one uh -huh. side, and I squeeze that on the other side, and I squeeze that in the middle. That's a little dumpling. Oh, I've got some of this here. That, not too much. That's, 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 that's good. good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let, let me do that. You, you can follow me. So yeah. you put that in the middle. Middle. Yeah, squeeze. And then you form a little semicircle. Mine is all dripping, good. yours is not. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not bad. The Mexican and the Chinese expert. <laughs> Voila. Okay. Okay. Mary, now, should we taste? Should we taste? Come Let taste me get some. Us. Let's try. Mm. Wow. Mm. I just mm. did my whole. So good. Mm. 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 Well, thank you so much, Lee and Mary, for hosting us to learn how to cook this authentic Chinese meal. And You're for welcome. Talking and You're welcome. Everything. Lovely to have you. And uh, let's uh, uh, share the meal together. Yes, let's, let's do that. Yes.